We have uh, little Cleo on the table. She was uh, hit by a car a couple of days ago and arrived here at the clinic with uh, several traumas. But um, because of the state she was in, the shock she was in, uh, she was stabilized first and today under anesthetic we've taken some x-rays. She has uh, unfortunately the fracture of the lower jaw. Actually the cartilage that keeps together the right and the lower jaw giving complete instability of uh, the maxilla. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna place a metal wire around uh, the left and the right branch of the mandible to keep the fragments together and give more stability to the jaw. The cat is not going to be able to eat for the next few days. We're going to place a feeding tube afterwards, but in the meantime, we're going to avoid the dislocation, the constant dislocation of the left and the right branch of the mandible. Okay, what we're going to do now is this. We're going to make a tiny incision here in the lower part of the chin where the metal wire will come out after we stabilize the, the jaw. The incision is just superficial, we are just making an incision on the skin. Then we are using a quite big needle to let the wire in from immediately behind the left canine to the side of the jaw and we let the needle come out gently the hole we made. This needle is gonna work as a guide to insert this metal wire which will uh, keep the jaw attached together. The wire goes through the needle and then what we're gonna do now is taking the needle out holding the wire in place. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to insert the needle again as a guide. Okay, now we need to insert the second part of the wire. So we're going to insert the needle this time here laterally and come out again laterally just immediately behind the right canine. We're going to introduce the wire back in through the needle until it comes out the other side of the jaw. Now we have the needle that's gone completely through. through. We need to now place the wire across the jaw, stabilize the jaw this way, gently use the wire as a brace to keep the jaw together like this so it's nice and symmetrical and we start applying some pressure using a forcep stabilize the jaw. Okay, once the wire is instable, of course we need to tie the wire so that uh, the two branches of the mandible, as you can see, don't move anymore. Now we have a nice solid jaw with no horizontal movement of the vertical movement of the of the of the branches. And so what happens is that now the medial part that connects, so the cartilage that connects the two branches is going to have time to heal without any more traumas. Now the last part of the procedure is uh, removing the extra metal wire 
that we have used to tie and gently bend this one so it doesn't traumatize the cat while he's eating even if again for the next few days the, the cat is gonna have a feeding tube and it's gonna be fed with uh, a particular liquid food.